is RC Kids. Junior! Good morning, everybody. If you were not able to join us for Kids Church, I just wanted to let you know what we learned today in RC Kids Junior. Now, we have been learning about faith, right? We learned that King Saul did not have faith and it caused lots of problems for him. He was angry, he was sad, he lost battles. And yes, Ellie. And we learned that David and Jonathan did have faith. And because of that, they had victories and they were able to be brave and they were able to trust God and have confidence because of their faith in what God told them. Well, we're going to learn another story about all three of them today, about King Saul, David, and Prince Jonathan. Now, Prince Jonathan and David were very, very good friends. Best buddies. Best buddies. Yay! And David was becoming so famous because he was so brave. He killed Goliath, right? That big, huge, tall, bad, bully giant. Do you remember that, Mario? This guy. Yeah. And he was so brave and so strong that all the people of Israel loved him and they would cheer for him. And that started to make Saul very jealous. Can you show me a jealous face? Because hey. hmm. Saul didn't have faith in God. So he thought he had to keep himself king and he had to get rid of David because he was afraid David was going to take over as king. Instead of just trusting God's plan, he tried to do it all himself. So he started chasing David. Can you look? Where's David? Where's he hiding? And David had to run away. And Prince Jonathan told David, run, David. My dad wants to kill you. And David took his men and he went and hid. And so here's the story that Miss Sierra taught us in R.C. Kins Jr. today. So David and his men were hiding in a cave. Can you guys hide in a cave? Because Saul and his men were right outside. Come here, Ellie. Will you come hide in our cave with us? And Saul had to go potty. So he said, you guys wait there. I'm going to go potty in this cave where I have some privacy. And he went into the cave to go potty. And David's men said, Saul's here. He doesn't have any men with him. Quick, David, go kill Saul. And David said, whoa, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not what God would have me to do. God will make me king when it's the right time. And God will protect me. And God will protect me until it's time for me to be king. And so he took his sword and he went over to King Saul, up behind King Saul, and he just cut off the corner of his robe. And when Saul went out with his men, David said, Saul, I wasn't, I could have killed you, but I didn't. Stop trying to kill me. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not trying to steal your throne. And Saul said, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop chasing you. Do you think Saul stopped chasing him? No. Nope. Again, he started to try to catch David because, again, he didn't trust God's plan for his life. And so this time, David and his men were hiding up on a hill. Can you pretend to look over a hill? Mario, can you look over the hill down at Saul? And Saul and his men were camped down in the valley below. And they all went down and laid down to go to sleep. And David's men again said, David, go down and kill Saul. He's hunting you again. Go kill him. And David said, no, that is not what God would have me do. I will not kill the king. But he did sneak down next to Saul, and Saul was asleep. Can you pretend to be see? Yes, you're right. And he took Saul's water jug and Saul's spear, and he snuck back up the hill. Sneak, 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 sneak. And he yelled down to King Saul again. Do you remember what he yelled? What did he say, Mia? He's King Saul! King Saul! Look what I try to kill you. I could have killed you, but I didn't. Stop chasing me. And Saul said, oh, David, you're so nice not to kill me. I'm so sorry. You're right. Do you think Saul stopped chasing him? Again, he started chasing him. Saul did not trust God's plan. But like Miss Sierra taught us, David trusted God, and he trusted that God would keep him safe, and that when it, when it was time, God would make him king when it was the right time. So for our craft today, we did this. We wrote at the top, David spares Saul's life. And we made a spear with a popsicle stick and a triangle of foam, but you could use paper. And then we cut out what we thought maybe Saul's water jug looked like. And we cut out a little piece of cloth to glue on so we could remember the three things that 
David showed Saul, I trust God. I'm not going to try to kill you. I'll become king when God says it's time. And until then, God will keep me safe. Right? So remember this week to have faith, to trust God's promises. We don't have to be mean to people who are mean to us. We don't have to try to teach them a lesson because we can trust God's plan. Amen? We do have this story in our Beginner's Bible as well. There's a story about Jonathan and David in there that you can read. It's a little part of the story, not the whole story in there. And you can read that in your Bible. Does anybody remember our memory verse? Mario, do you remember our memory verse? I remember it. Okay, Amelia, what's our memory verse? Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Let's say it together, Mario. You ready? Come here, bud bud. Let's say it together. You don't know it. Okay, ready? Hebrews 11.1. 1. Let's do it together. You just did it by yourself. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we cannot see. We love you guys. Have faith this week. Hope to see you next week. Bye. See you next time. Bye, ugly and ugly. Bye, guys. <laughs>